Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing this DIY candelabra with you guys. I've been working on this idea for a couple months, so hopefully you'll enjoy it and get some ideas you can use. I got pretty much everything from Dollar Tree besides the E6000 glue and the spray paint. From Dollar Tree, you'll need one of the margarita glasses as well as two of these glass candle holders. And I just wash them in cold water and let the sticker sit for 10 minutes and it pretty much wipes right off easily. And now I'm gonna use the brown hammered paint, but I think this would also look amazing in black, gold, or even a color like pink, blue, red, whatever fits your decor, the options are endless. I just like the rustic look of the brown hammered one, and you should be able to find it anywhere that sells spray paint, but I will leave the links down below if you want to order it instead. You're also gonna need four of these metal over the door hanger hooks, and I found these in Dollar Tree as well. So spray paint all of them quickly, let them dry, come back, spray the other side, being careful to get all the edges and angles so the paint is covering it completely. And then you'll also need four of these black metal candle holders, and I did my best to get the stickers off, but they're on the underside so no one is really going to see anyway, and we're gonna spray paint them as well, again, making sure to cover all the edges. Then once everything is dry, you can start gluing. Starting with the margarita glass top down for the base, I used E6000 around the top edge of one of the candlesticks along with a little hot glue for a quicker hold and place the candlestick top onto the bottom of the margarita glass and then do the same thing putting the glue around the base of the other candlestick and line up the bases of the candle holders together like I did here and let that all dry. E6000 recommends 24 hours for a full dry. But now while that's drying, we can attach the over the door hanger pieces to the candle holder pieces. And here is the difficult part. You need to find something that's the perfect height to rest the ball of the hanger into the bottom of the candle holder like this so you can glue it together. E6000 is probably your best bet for this, but it takes a while to dry. I found this particular cereal box from Trader Joe's to work well actually, but be creative, a box, a piece of wood, a container, even a stack of books. Whatever will give you the right height to let the flat edge of the door hook lay flat and the ball end rest neatly inside the candle holder so everything will be even and straight when it dries. You want this to be stable, so don't rush this step. You want it to be even, so take the time to find the right height item for it to dry like this. Just trust me, you'll be happy later. And I left them to dry overnight and came back the next day. And we're gonna attach the arms of the candelabra now by using a little hot glue on one end and E6000 on the other and placing the flat door hook part on one side of the top candlestick here and the same thing for the other one facing it the opposite direction and then let that dry till it seems pretty stable even if you need to wait till later that day or the next day it's a lot of metal so you want your e6000 to be fully set so your candelabra doesn't come apart later so then I did the same thing with the other two arms and placed them the other direction perpendicular to the first set and this way I have one candelabra arm coming on all four sides Again, let it set up and dry and then come back for the last step, which is the glass vases. And this part is kind of optional. I used E6000 to attach a large glass candle holder bowl like this in the middle. But then for the sides, I realized it's kind of an option because you could use larger candles just by themselves or add the smaller glass bowl vases and place the candles inside them. Or you could just do tea lights, which I really like using. Dollar Tree has a variety of candle options, or you can use whatever your favorite is. I think something in between the tea light and the mini pillar candle, something more like a votive candle size, would probably be, be the best. My mom loved this one and thought it would look really nice in her living room, so I'm actually planning to give this one to her now. And I wanted to show you guys how it looked with the hanging crystals in case you want that style, especially if you do black or colored paint. Maybe you'd want matching colored crystals. I think that would be so cool. Anyway, my mom actually doesn't want the crystals. She just wants it plain like this to fit in with more antique and rustic style decor. But there's a lot of ways you could customize it, so do whatever fits best for you. And if you do decide 
wanted to make one, you can share a picture of it on Instagram and tag it with the hashtag DIY Candelabra. I would love to see pictures if you decide to make your own. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've been inspired and I will see you guys soon in the next one. Bye.